just like this is Tibet this week, a weekly feature in English that tells you about this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the Central Tibetan Administration. Today's headlines. His Holiness the Dalai Lama begins three-day teachings for Tibetan youth. Central Tibetan Administration holds prayer service for Tibetan self-emulators on first anniversary of the 15th Kashak. CTA President clarifies on news of United States President Donald Trump's proposed budget cut for Tibetans. Music is a language between heaven and earth, President Dr. Senge said at the 58th founding anniversary of the Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts. Decoding China's overreaction against His Holiness the Dalai Lama's historic visit to Arunachal Pradesh, writes Tibet.net's editor. The Tibetan spiritual leader, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, began an introductory teaching on Buddhism for Tibetan youth at the main temple, Tsuglakhang, this Monday. The first day of the three-day teaching on Nagarjuna's commentary on Bodhicitta and Gese Thomesang was 37 practices of a Bodhisattva saw over 10,000 devotees pour into main temple to listen to the teachings. Throughout the preliminary teaching, His Holiness emphasized on the need to revive the ancient wisdom of compassion and values in our schools, societies and world at large. <laughs> Any Jazz Calling the lack of approach towards understanding human mind as the fundamental cause of disturbance arising in the world today, the Tibetan spiritual leader reiterated the need for a reformed education system in schools. 528 students from 70 different universities and colleges in India, students from colleges in the United States, Netherlands, and thousands from Tibetan children's village schools and Masuri Homes Foundation attended the teaching. To his Tibetan followers, His Holiness advised them to develop faith and conviction in Buddha's teaching through study, reflection and meditation. Started in the year 2007, the introduction to Buddhism for Tibetan youth is aimed at promoting awareness and training in Tibetan Buddhism among the youth. Marking the first anniversary of the 15th Kashak, led by President Dr. Lobsan Senge, the Central Tibetan Administration on Friday last week organized a prayer service at Tsuglakhang to express solidarity with the Tibetan self-immolators, including Jamyang Losel, a Tibetan monk in his 20s who died after carrying out a self-immolation protest on 19th May this year at Chensa in Manlo, Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture. According to information received, Jayang Losel's remains were not handed over to his family but were scattered over Lake Kokonor by the police. Jamyang's friend Yishe has reportedly detained recently by the Chinese authorities on charges of sharing Jamyang Losel's photo after his self immolation. Addressing the prayer service, President Dr. Lobsan Senge said, <laughs> Dana 
Commenting on the recent news of United States President Donald Trump's proposed budget cut for Tibetan programs, CTA's President Dr. Lobsang Senge said that the cut proposed by new administration is a part of larger cut for State Department's international aid funding. He further elucidated that though the Tibetan programs are likely to bear the brunt of the larger proposed cut of over 10 to 30 percent of international aid programs across the board, but will not be reduced to zero as speculated and feared by few. He added that the final approval for the budget is congressionally driven and reassured that Tibet enjoys widespread support in the United States Congress and expressed optimism that the welfare initiatives led by the Central Tibetan Administration and supported by our friends in the Senate will not be affected adversely and that the funding flow will remain intact. <laughs> The Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts, the premier institute of Tibetan dance and theater, celebrated its 58th founding anniversary with the annual summer festival of Yerki on Wednesday last week. The chief guest president, Dr. Senge, said that through this institute, we showcase the beauty, the depth and dynamism of our culture, of our music, because as we know, music is the language between heaven and earth, and you can see the beauty of Tibetan music, beauty of Tibetan performance. This is what we want to preserve, he said. The Tibetan Institute of Performing Arts is one of the pioneer cultural institute established through the vision of His Holiness the 14th Dalai Lama. The institute aims to preserve and promote Tibetan musical heritage and arts. Tibet.net's editor Jambil Shunu wrote an article titled Decoding China's Overreaction Against His Holiness the Dalai Lama's Arunachal Pradesh Visit, which explains conceivable reasons for China's scornful reaction against the visit of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's visit to northeast Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh. In his article, Jambir Shinu highlighted the vast extent of the spiritual power and influence of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, which was on full display during the religious visit, and reasoned this could be a factor in provoking China's vitriolic reaction, and mentioned that the Chinese government, without their slightest intention, has brought the Tibet issue to the global spotlight and to a whole new generation of Indians. That is all for today. We'll be back with more news next week. Have a good weekend. Bye.